Welcome to Romagne, a little village in the northeast of France. Here we find the Museum 1418, where its owner, Jean-Paul de Vries, keeps the memory alive of the soldiers who lived and died in the First World War. In a series of short videos, Jean-Paul will show us some highlights, all found on the former battlefields within a few miles from his own museum. Yeah, the uniform, also a beautiful thing in wars. If you see that when war is starting, we still have the Napoleon warfare in our heads, so people have to be bright and colorful. Uh, the French had a red pantalon, blue jacket, to really show off where the French. But imagine having all these soldiers standing in the border of wood with all red pantalons. It's crazy, because you only have to aim at the color, and you know for sure you're in the stomach. Eh? Just aim at the high of the red, you're in the stomach. In those days, uh, killed for death, a wound. So uh, these people were just uh, pigeon, aiming pigeons, and during these wars, uniforms start. And if you look in the more beautiful uh, museum in Verdun, you can see how the uniforms were supposed to be. Uh, more beautiful, never worn by a soldier. Don't forget that all these uniforms in this museum uh, came out of the depots. You needed a very nice, perfect shape uniform, never been used in the depot, put it in a museum, you got a very nice piece of a museum. But this one, when this came in, I fell in love, and the man who sold it to me knew that, because if you look at this uniform, it, it survived time. You can see it's been eaten by mud, it's pigeon shit on it, it, it survived time. This uniform was worn, maybe even after war, by civilians who used the French uniform as a jacket, because, don't forget, poor people coming back after war, there's nothing left over, and uh, all these uniforms were just laying around, and you could use it. It's nice and warm, it's wool wool which was in those days uh, very expensive to make uniforms out of but the people had it but soldiers had it as well and in summertime wearing a woolen uniform don't forget it's way too hot and during winter time it's nice maybe not warm enough but it's better than something else but during summertime you had the same uniform don't forget that wool will soak up water it's it has a lot of inconvenience these uh, uniforms and luckily for soldiers, during all these wars, uniforms will change. They start off with camouflage, they start off with lighter uniforms, with different materials. Just to make it more comfortable for soldiers, because in the old days, a war was a couple of days. A big, big battlefield in the fields and then it was over. You lost, you won. But in this war, war uh, stayed on for four years. So you had to wear your uniform for four years. And that's when things were changing. If you would like to support the museum, please visit our website www.friendsofromania1418.com.